So basically, I think of the cup being a third and the, the base being two thirds. So basically, I've got one, two, three, and I like that um, size. And then up here, I've got almost with my hand throwing a little margin here, a little delineation, and here where the cup meets. And then down here, I've nicked it right here with my fingernail. And so I can use this as a little margin. Here is margin, and here is a margin. So it will, when people look at it, they'll see the proportions of a third and two thirds, which is, I think, really kind of nice for people. So I'm going to go ahead and start my carving down here. And we need to stop for a second because I forgot carving here and keep my little margin. Um, I forgot my banding wheel, so I wanted to go get it. But I just want to do little marks here to remind me that I'm going to leave this margin at the base. And the banding wheel makes this all so much better. I could write, I could take a pencil or a pen and make my lines on here, but I find it's much more fun to just let the design kind of flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this and I'm going to see where, if I were to use this, where would my fingers go? And basically what I found is I like this part being out here. My fingers naturally cup it here, but down here, this is it's too much right here. So I'll do a lot of carving here. And it's a fun way to figure out how to make a, a pottery piece fit in someone's hand and feel really comfortable. Because if you do it little bit by little bit, then you end up coming with coming up with something that's going to feel good in the hand. And you want it to be really comfortable so they'll continue to use it all the time. And come back for more. So then just taking that away should make my little finger just cup right in here. And that's much more comfortable to do that. And I could have cut it the other way too, but I just naturally cut this way. This also lightens up the stem. And it kind of like looks like little diamonds. I leave it and I will um, in about two hours, go back and clean off all the burrs. So now I have to just say, well, actually this one's not bad the way it is, but I'll put just a few here. I don't want to change this knob too much because then it won't feel really good. And then, and then I just go back and down here I can play. I don't know why I find this restful. I just do. Do you guys carve? It's so restful. Some people think it's tedious. I have to stop myself because I would carve the whole thing. It's fun, isn't it? It's, I mean, it really is fun. If, if you guys want each one, one of my blanks, you can take it and, and carve it and have it if you'd like. So what do you think? Should Yay! I do more or is that enough? I think that's enough for that one. I think it, it feels good. Now I could 
take it, put it upside down. Ooh, hey, you get such a different orientation or perspective when you turn it upside down. When you turn it upside down, yeah. it's kind of like a, yeah, and I had never thought about pumpkin, about looking at it as a, um, um, you know what else it would make? What's that? A cake holder. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It would. Or any kind of foot, footed server. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that yeah. would be light because this is just a very light bowl, mm -hmm. and yet it would hold. Oh, hold. Oh, people are so used to in my classes. Like, my last class was plates and platters, and it ended up being dinnerware by the end. <laughs> you know, so everybody made a dinner set, but you know, goblets, <laughs> candle holders. And cake plates, <laughs> kind of sounds. And good. dog water bowls. And uh, you know, I dog water bowls. You know. But this will lighten it up a little bit more visually. Not so much. Um, but this, I, when I turned it over, I thought. Well, when I first had it right side up, I thought, you know, this looks a little clunky up top here. So if I take this and kind of carve it here. Then it's not quite so, not quite so funky. Now, this stage of the game, do you know how you're going to glaze it, or are you beginning A to lot of times ideas? they do, yeah, and and there are certain glazes that look so nice over carvings. The antique blue, this, this uh -huh. is all comb 6 clay, comb 5 6, so yeah. the antique blue looks really nice in carvings. So let's turn it back over and see. And see, that lightens, mm. for me, that lightens up oh, this look up top. So. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, it's not quite so clunky, but now I kind of want. <laughs> and in a funny way, it it looks more finished too because it was just part of the way up the shaft. Yeah, yeah. Before. But you know, it's hard for me to stop carving once I start. You know, it's kind of like <laughs> one more thing you could do. One more thing. One more line. But that's the nice thing is you know, and it's all. I uh, like how you're making them symmetrical or you know yeah. you're joining the two yeah I perfect just, it looked a little um like it needed that oh it's lovely oh. that's better that's better now do you ever um it's like when